Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just going to give you a really quick video today with my tricks to answer pretty much everything regarding filtration fraction and such. Um, so as you know, filtration fraction is GFR over renal plasma flow, right? So the way I see this very quickly is that GFR is basically the clearance of inulin. Whereas renal plasma flow is going to be the clearance of PAH. So usually, at least in New World, what they do is they give you a bunch of information um, saying, for example, the concentration of inulin, the concentration of PAH. Um, sometimes they'll actually give you the clearance. If they don't give you the clearance, you got to know that clearance is basically going to be the concentration of, for example, PAH, right? Um, times, let's put concentration here, times the flow of the urine, I think it's a V, I don't know, let's just put flow here, and um, that's going to be over the plasma concentration of what you're looking for. So, if I'm looking for PAH, I'm just going to plug in the values, which they should give you, of course, you're going to put the urinary concentration of PAH, the flow of the urine, and divide it over the plasma of the concentration of PAH. So that's all you need here. Um, you would be putting the concentration of PAH times the urinary flow over the plasma concentration of PAH. If they don't give you the plasma concentration of PAH, you're going to put one minus hematocrit, which they will give you. If they give you the clearances, just plug that in, forget the rest. Now let's say they ask you about um, filtered load. Filtered load is also very simple. It's just going to be GFR over plasma. You already know what both of them are, so you can answer that as well. Now, renal blood flow is another one they might uh, throw in. I need a new pen. Um, that's going to be also information that you know. That's going to be renal plasma flow over... Um, one minus hematocrit or plasma. So filtered low, GFR over plasma. Renal blood flow, renal plasma flow over plasma. You've got all of that information with, with just this little bit. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and try to connect everything in terms of physiology. So they might ask you what happens to the filtration fraction when you um, either constrict the afferent or constrict the efferent. Wow, my pen is giving up on me. Okay, so if I constrict afferent, let's say that this is where we filter, this is GFR, this is afferent over here, this is efferent. If I constrict afferent, what's happening is nothing is flowing in in the first place. So I'm going to have a decrease in um, GFR and I'm going to have a decrease in renal plasma flow as well. Nothing's flowing in, nothing is getting filtered out, right? So for efferent, same concept. This is afferent, this is efferent, this is the, you know, everything filtered to GFR. So if I constrict the efferent over here, plus, um, GFR will increase because it can't go out, so more of it will be filtered. And our renal plasma flow will actually decrease because it's not flowing out comfortably. So what happens is when you constrict the afferent, your filtration fraction is actually going to remain normal. Whereas when you constrict the efferent, your filtration fraction, since this increases, decrease, is going to increase. This is basically all I know about this, and I, I hope this was simple enough. It'll help you answer pretty much all of the questions I've, I've been able to answer them so far. So um, I hope this was helpful. Study hard, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.